Dubai, United States of America, Japan and China are all the countries where we have seen a masterpiece of engineering. Cities in these countries are designed and developed very well. Just look at Dubai, how this entire city is equipped with high-tech facilities which are famous for all over the world today. Also, many cities in China are present in this list. But recently a new name has been added to this list. We are talking about Egypt, where preparations are being made for the biggest project ever. This is the new administrative capital here called Nak. The size of this deserted looking area is almost as big as Singapore, and it is said that this whole project is going to be built from scratch. Many things are going to be built in this big city, such as government buildings, a new finance house, and houses will also be built here for more than 60 lakh people to live. This whole project is very ambitious. So a skyscraper will also be built. Otherwise, this project itself is incomplete. Africa's largest building is going to be built in the desert. Its name is the iconic building. In today's video, we are going to tell you about this project in detail and how this entire project will be made and what facilities will be present in it. So definitely watch it from beginning to end and let's start this video. We have seen many mega projects being built around the world such as the Burj Khalifa in Dubai and the Shanghai Tower in China. The title of the tallest building in the world has always been fluctuating with the great pyramid of Giza holding the title of the tallest building in the world for a long time. You must be thinking that all this is a building of ancient times. But today once again Egypt has returned to its old form and it is preparing this big project in this desolate desert area. In this project Africa's biggest building is also present. The question is why did Egypt need to make this big project? There is a lot of population in the capital of Egypt and the main reason for making this project is how to reduce the congestion in this vessel. You will be surprised to know that the capital of Egypt is one fifth of the entire Egypt population, which is around 104 million people. The entire project is going to be built in an area of about 700 square kilometers in this deserted visible desert, which is one day going to be called a masterpiece of engineering. In this big project, up to seven lakh people can live. The work on this whole project is going on for about 7 years and now its first phase is going to be started which people are eagerly waiting for especially the people of Africa and the people of Egypt because it will be the first time that in the continent such a big building is being built in its first phase the government buildings of Egypt will be relocated first which are currently located elsewhere The new parliament of Egypt is going to be built here and as well as the palace for the president of Egypt will be built here. Apart from this, the rest of the government buildings are also going to be built here, such as the Ministry of Finance. The military has also played a big role in the politics of Egypt. And that is the reason why the military is also going to get a place in this new project. they want to establish their military in a new way for which they have built their military building differently and for that they have prepared the design for it too which might look like america's pentagon building but it is being said to be much different from that egypt is not copying america's pentagon building through this but its purpose is different this whole project is not being built just like this in egypt In 2016 China and Egypt signed an agreement where this project was included in China's Belt and Road Infrastructure Project Initiative. After this agreement many businesses are also going to be included in this project in Egypt. The economy of Egypt will also be boosted by this initiative. This one investment will greatly benefit the central business district of Egypt and here that the big skyscraper building which is considered to be the pride of Egypt is being built. So a question must be coming to your mind. How such a big building will be built in this very desolate result? A construction company in China is helping in making this project. 
The name of this company is China State Construction Engineering Corporation and it is looking after all the work here. No one can deny the fact that China's monopoly is at the forefront of the construction and development field in the whole world. As you know that this big skyscraper is being built in a desert. It is obvious that one of the biggest problems must have come in front of the engineer who built it. Like how to save this building from sinking in the sand. For this problem, the solution was finally taken out by the engineer and they first prepared a different type of foundation under this building inside which many thick slabs were installed with the help of all these slabs the weight of this entire building was reduced to a large extent and distributed large area so in this way it was saved from falling the sand here in this concrete stones of up to 19 square kilometers were used which is a record in itself Till now this much concrete had not been used in any project in the Middle East and this is the only building for which such a huge foundation was prepared no matter how big the construction of this building is not much time was spent in making it you will be surprised to know that only 38 hours were spent installing the slabs used inside it you must have been surprised to hear but this is the reality Nothing is difficult in today's era of engineering. It is being told that this was completed in half the time it took to make. All this was possible with the help of these specially designed concrete pumping systems. These slabs were being installed so fast that about 735 cubic meter portion was being prepared in 1 hour. This entire building was being built at the same speed and it is said that it will be completed in 2023 the entire concrete part of it was completed in about 808 days steel framework was completed in about 3 days it is surprising to hear that it is taking only 3 days for a steel framework to be completed for each floor and 78 floors are currently being built in this building egypt has a lot of expectations from this huge project So with a large population of workers for the government district with the help of China's belt and road initiative we can say that this whole project will be a game changer for Egypt but only time will tell how beneficial this project will be from the economic point of view Egypt wants to come out of its capital and many reasons are hidden behind it the real reason for this is the increasing population in the capital of Egypt which is increasing rapidly day by day and this city does not have enough power to keep all these people ever since the central tahrir square here was completely occupied the people here removed the second president of egypt from power after this accident the government of egypt started taking a lot of care about this thing that such a situation should not come back in future due to which the people would get angry with the government once again and the country would again get into this kind of trouble assistant lecturer in planning and urban environments at coventry university masha alami fariman has pointed out that the voices of those against the government in authoritarian countries are not heard as the government has moved away from the cairo to the new administrative capital some people think the look of the government quarters open space is impressive but they believe it's an effective way to prevent protests the average cost of a house in the nak is 60000 usd dollar that's 16 times the average household income in egypt There is still a lot of work that needs to be done before this ambitious plan is complete but it's clear that Egypt is back on track when it comes to building big. In the coming time we can expect that more such projects will continue to build in Egypt which will challenge Dubai and other countries. We have often been witnessing such new engineering masterpieces which are also very important for the whole world in the form of development. Such buildings become the center of attraction for the people and this also promotes tourism in today's time a country like dubai is running on tourism and the lifestyle of the people there has also increased 
We hope that due to all these new projects, the economy of Egypt will also reach to good level in the coming times. I hope you like this information. For more interesting videos, follow and subscribe now and make sure to share them. Stay connected and be updated.